Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? Buenos días, buenas tardes y buenas noches. No importa la hora que sea, siempre es un gran momento para aprender español con Profesor Pablo. Ok, here we are, finally, we got to the future and the conditional. They are verb number six and verb number seven. Remember, there are ten things you can do to a verb in Spanish. Our verb numbers go from zero through nine. Eight and nine are the subjunctives. We'll get those later down the road. But right now, we're going to get through the future and the conditional. In English, when you say will, followed by a verb, that's what we call the future tense. I will go. That would be ir, and you put this on, iré. Okay? Conditional is what you would do today, tomorrow, next week, or in the future. Uh, I would buy it. Lo compraría. You take comprar and put the ending. Lo compraría. <clears throat> Will is future. Would, what you would do today, tomorrow, next week, or in the future, is conditional. But keep in mind, would in the past, like I would drink a lot of milk when I was a kid. Cuando era niño, tomaba mucha leche. I would watch a lot of TV. Miraba la tele mucho. Uh, we would play out in the street. Jugábamos en la calle. We used to go to the beach. We would go to the beach a lot. Íbamos a la playa mucho. If you say would in the past, it's imperfect, which is verb number Five. Okay, let's take a look at our verbs. We have, we have verbs here that you're going to find out there are no stem changing verbs. There's nothing quirky about the future or the conditional except for that they have the same irregulars. And this is about 90% of them. These are all the important ones. But for all verbs in the future and the conditional, you take the infinitive, the zero form, and you add the ending for future. The ending for AR, ER, and IR verbs, they're all the same. A, as, a, amos, on. Amos is in red to show you that it doesn't have an accent mark. The A, the as, and the a, and the on all have an accent mark because you're stressing a word with a stressed vowel at the end, which breaks the rule of pronunciation. That's why it has an accent mark. Conditional. Ia, ias, ia, iomos, ian. This goes again for ar, er, and ir verbs. And guess what? These also are the imperfect verb number five verb endings for er and ir verbs. But now, instead of putting them on the verb stem, we're putting it on the end of the infinitive. So it's really simple. We've got two tenses and we're going to knock it out here in about 12 minutes, hopefully. Maybe 15, maybe more. Who knows? So let's practice. If I want to say, we will go, it would be, put the infinitive in front, iremos. They will go, iran. I will go, iré. Will you go, irás? Let's take the verb estar. I will be there. Estaré allí. We will be there. Estaremos en la fiesta. We'll be at the party. Jugar. Will they play tomorrow? Jugarán mañana? We will play tonight. Jugaremos esta noche. Ser. It will be fun. Será divertido. It will be difficult. Será difícil. Ser. We will be friends. Seremos amigos. We will be neighbors. Seremos vecinos. Costar. It will cost a lot. Put costar here and add the A accent. Costará mucho. They will cost a lot. Costarán mucho. Let's go with pagar. To pay. Pagar. We usually many times include the word low when we're talking about pagar. The low is what you're paying for, meaning it. So if I'm going to say, I'll pay it tomorrow, lo pagaré mañana. We'll pay it tomorrow, lo pagaremos mañana. If I want to say to you, I will pay you tomorrow, I could just say, te pagaré mañana. Te pagaré mañana. But it's very common to include lo. Te lo pagaré mañana. The lo would be referring to the amount of money, el dinero that you're going to pay the person the next day. Pagar. When will you pay me? Cuando me pagarás? They will pay us tomorrow. Nos pagarán mañana. See how easy the future is? The endings are the same for AR, ER, and IR verbs. And you know 95% plus of all verbs in the Spanish language are IR verbs. Excuse me, AR verbs. <clears throat> Hablar. I'll talk with him tomorrow. Hablaré con él mañana. We'll talk about that tonight. Hablaremos de eso esta noche. Will you talk with her, please? Hablarás con ella, por favor? Ver, to watch or to see. 
will watch a movie. Veremos una película. They will be watching the fight. They will watch the fight. Verán la pelea. What will you watch? ¿Qué verás tú? Llegar. They will arrive late. Llegarán tarde. I will arrive early. Llegaré temprano. So here you go. You just take the infinitive. Take the infinitive, put it in front, and add the appropriate ending. And this, now for the conditional, let's do it with the conditional. If you want to say, I would go, iría. We're going to learn how to say, iría si pudiera. We don't know how to do that pudiera. It's based on the preterite for, and that's the past subjunctive. We're not there yet. But, iría si pudiera. I would go if I had money. Iría si tuviera. Now your language learning module is hearing uh, uh, iera, 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 right? It's starting to make an impression up here. I would go if I had money. Iría si tuviera dinero. I would go if I didn't have to work. Iría si no tuviera que trabajar. Or just simply, iría, pero no puedo. I would go, but I can't. Let's go here, estar. Would you be there? Estarías allí tú? Estarías? Mom and dad would be there. Mamá y papá estarían allí. Jugar. You're planning a game. You're saying, okay, well, we would play in the morning. Jugaríamos en la mañana. Let's go with ser. This, it is, it will be fun. Será divertido. It would be fun. Sería divertido. Talking about your friend, the movie next door. We would be neighbors. Seríamos vecinos. Seremos vecinos. We will be neighbors. Seríamos vecinos. We would be neighbors. It will be a problem. Será un problema. It would be a problem. Sería un problema. Future is will. Conditional is would. Let's go with costar. It would cost a lot. Costaría mucho. Costaría mucho. Pagar. I would pay you tomorrow. Te lo pagaría mañana. When would you pay me? Cuando me lo pagarías? Cuando me lo pagarías? Hablar. We would, we would talk it over. Lo hablaríamos por un tiempo. Lo hablaríamos. Okay? I would talk with her if you want. Hablaría con ella si tú quieres. Would you talk to him for me, please? Hablarías con él por mí, por favor? Ver. I, I, would, I would watch it. Yo lo vería. We would watch it. Nosotros lo veríamos. Llegar. We would be late. Llegaríamos tarde. They would be early. Llegarían temprano. Okay, let's go here to the irregulars now. The future and the conditional share the same irregular verbs. Here they are. And again, look, IR and ER verbs, right? Most of them are IR and ER verbs. In fact, every single one of them are IR and ER verbs. There aren't many ER and IR verbs in the Spanish language, but a lot of them are very potent and heavily used, and they're irregular or stem changing in one way or another. Okay? Let's go here. Decir. What will mom say? ¿Qué dirá mamá? Take your D-I-R and put it right in front. ¿Qué dirá mañana? Dad will say no. Papá dirá que no. They will say yes. Dirán que sí. She will tell the truth. Ella dirá la verdad. Hacer is to do or to make. Hacer, H-A-R. I'll make a pie. Haré un pastel. Mom will make some cookies. Mamá hará unas galletas. You will do well on the test. Harás bien en el examen. Caber is to fit. Something into a box or a suitcase. It will not fit. No cabra. No cabra. They will not fit. No cabran. No cabran. Poder. Will you be able to go? Podrás ir? We will be able to help. Podremos ayudar. Poner. Where will you put the money? Donde pondrás el dinero? I'll put the money on the bed. Pondré el dinero en la cama. Not a good place to put money. Saber. To find out, or to know, to find out. When will you find out? Cuando lo sabrás. We're going to use that lo again. Because whatever you're finding out, that's it, what you're finding out about, right? Cuando lo sabrás. I'll find out tomorrow. Lo sabré mañana. We will know tomorrow. 
lo sabremos mañana. When will you know? Cuando lo sabrás. When will they know? Cuando lo sabrán. Let's go down to salir, to leave. We will leave early. Saldremos temprano. I will leave late. Saldré tarde. Let's go over there to tener. Tendra, right? We will have a party. Tendremos una fiesta. I will have a lot of fun. Tendré un gran tiempo. Valer is to be worth. It will be worth a lot of money. Valdrá mucho dinero. They will be worth a lot. Valdrán mucho dinero. Venir is to come. Will she come to the party? Vendrá a la fiesta. Will they come? Vendrán ellos. Will you come? Vendrás tú. A ver. That's where we get I. Okay? There will be a party. Habrá una fiesta. Now, we know that there will be problems is I, or there are problems, I problemas. There were problems, hubo problemas. There used to be problems, había problemas. Now we want to say there will be. You're going to stick with singular. Habrá problemas. There will be a test tomorrow. Habrá un examen mañana en la clase. And the last one, querer, to want. I, I, I never hear it used. It's, it's really, really, rarely ever used. Will you want to go? Querrás ir? Will she want to help us tomorrow? Querrá ayudarnos mañana? Querer in the future, in the conditional, not really used hardly at all, if that. Now, let's do the conditional. The conditional endings are here. What would you say? ¿Qué dirías? What would you tell her? ¿Qué le dirías? What would dad say? ¿Qué diría papá? Hacer. What would you do? ¿Qué harías? We would not do anything. No haríamos nada. Let's go with caber. It wouldn't fit. No cabría. They would not fit. No cabrían. Poder. Would you be able to go? Podrías ir? We would be able to help. Podríamos ayudar. I would be able to pay. Yo podría pagar. Poner. I would put the money in the bank. Pondría el dinero en el banco. I would put the boxes in the garage. Yo pondría las cajas en el garaje. Saber to find out. They would find out tomorrow. Lo sabrían mañana. I would find out in a week. Lo sabría en una semana. I would know in a week. Lo sabría en una semana. Tener. You would have problems. Tendrías problemas. Uh -huh. Tendrías problemas. We would have a party. Tendríamos una fiesta. Valer. It would be worth a lot. Valdría mucho. Let's go with venir. Would you come to the party? Vendrías a la fiesta? Will you come? Vendrás a la fiesta. Will you come? Vendrás? Would you come? Vendrías. A ver. There will be problems. Habrá problemas. There would be. Habría problemas. Let's go with querer. What would you want to do? ¿Qué querrías hacer tú? All right. So that is the future. That is a conditional. The future is will. The conditional is would, referring to what you, what you would do now, tomorrow, next week, or off in the future at some time. Would in the past, like I would always drink milk. Siempre tomaba leche. I would always... Draw, siempre dibujaba. I would always play with my friends, siempre jugaba con mis amigos. Would in the past is imperfect five. The verb number for the future is six. The verb number for the conditional is seven. The endings for the future are the same for all verbs, AR, ER, and IR. In the conditional, the same verb endings for ER, AR, and IR verbs, IA, IAS, IA, IAMOS, IAN. And they go on the end of the infinitive. So a quick little review. It would be a lot of fun. <clears throat> it would be. Well, would is conditional. To be is ser. It would be sería muy divertido. There would be problems. Would, we're down here with conditional. There would be habría problemas. We will go with you. Will is future. We're up here. Ir. We will go with you. Iremos contigo. Let's go with, it will cost a lot. Future, costar, costará mucho. It would cost a lot. It would cost, costaría mucho. 
So that's how you work with the future and the conditional. And I want to mention that many times the future is overlooked and people use the ir a plus infinitive. For example, it will rain, lloverá. Most people would say, va a llover, right? Va a llover. Uh, we're going to go, irem, it, we're going to go, vamos a ir, we will go, iremos. It will cost a lot, costará mucho. More commonly, most people would say, va a costar mucho. Va a costar mucho. So know that the ir a plus infinitive is used many times in place of the future. And you can use either one, however you want to use it. Okay? All right, that's future, that's conditional. Verb number six and seven. We've done zero, the... Infinitive. We've done one, the ando yendo, present participle. We've done two, the past participle, the ed, the ado ido. We've done three, the present tense. We've done four, the preterite. We've done five, the imperfect. We've done six, the future. We've done seven, the conditional. All that's left are the present and past subjunctive, verb numbers eight and nine. And to form the present and past subjunctive, we're going to use conjugations that we already know how to do. So essentially, without studying the subjunctives, you already know how to form them. So we're going to learn how to use them correctly, and we'll practice constructing sentences at the highest level with the subjunctive. But that's down the road a bit yet. Okay, so I'm feeling good. There are 10 things you can do to a verb, and guess what? We've got eight of them. We need to learn the tips, tricks, and tools, and put them into practice right away. Okay, that's it for tonight. Hasta la próxima lección. This is Professor Pablo signing off with... What's my sign-off going to be tonight? Okay. Colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. Hasta luego.